so today I want to talk about the 1984 film Frank and Weenie. Now this Frank and Weenie is obviously Tim Burton's original Frank and Weenie and FYI it can be found on the two disc collector's edition of The Nightmare Before Christmas which I do strongly recommend you buy because it is amazing. Now the thing about this first of all is that it is only half an hour in length which I thought was going to be a bit weird. I'll talk about the pacing once I've gone through the plot but having just watched the original, the new Frank and Weenie sorry, and fallen completely in love with it I thought I absolutely have to watch this and I can say that for the most part the plot is pretty similar obviously because it's based on Mary Shelley's Frankenstein a lot of the same concepts and issues are going to be the same um, so it is for those of you who aren't aware of the, the new Frank and Weenie or the original it's about a boy called Victor whose dog Sparky dies and obviously through his grieving process he decides to bring Sparky back to life and he goes through this experimentation to bring the dog back to life and at first it's kind of a will he won't come back to life but that's a pretty obvious answer if you're aware of the story and it's all about dealing with the emotions of controlling life and the morals of controlling life and do we have the power to do this, should we be tampering with life a lot of major issues in it now I'll be honest the first half of this is very similar to the film uh, I think the first half of this is similar to about the first third maybe even the first half of the new film um, especially this is, this is a, a real people film as I like to call it I know people don't like air quotes, my apologies um, it's a real people film as opposed to a stop motion animation but I don't know if anybody else gets this but when I'm watching an animation I forget I'm watching an animation because it just it feels real you get so sucked into it that it feels like you're watching real people so with this a lot of the scenes and angles and directing are is, is quite similar so you do feel like you're watching the same film it, it, it sometimes which is it's kind of beautiful that the same film can be carried across from 1984 to 2012 and uh, kind of still work um, obviously the, the, this one isn't as modernised as the new one, obviously. Um, so for the first half it's quite similar, but the second half, kind of the last 15 minutes, completely different. Really the way it plays out is, is very different. I'd say, yeah, it, it's, not as, it's not as scary, first of all. Um, not that the, the new Frank and Weenie is scary, it's more emotional and upsetting, but it's not as, it's not as harrowing, you're not going to be traumatised. Um, some of my favourite moments from the new film aren't in this but this is half an hour in length and I think the whole story is covered exceptionally well given given the space Tim Burton has an introduction um, on this DVD I don't know if it's anywhere else where he says you know they're currently working on a, a new version of this just now obviously that DVD was released a couple of years ago so it, it's out now we can go and watch it which is brilliant but they've obviously been working on the new one for quite some time but I do think it's absolutely fantastic that they've gone from this film to that um, so the pacing is brilliant, it didn't ever feel rushed at all. The ending, I think, was quite rapid, but having seen the new Frank and Weenie, it's to be expected. Had I not seen the new Frank and Weenie and allowed this to stand in its own merits, um, of which there are many, 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 it is absolutely fantastic. You're not judging it against the new Frank and Weenie. I think that's the important thing to remember, that it is a, it's, it's a short film. It is a Frank and Weenie short, as opposed to the, the full-length feature. So I think the pacing is absolutely brilliant. It does get your heart racing quite a bit. The emotions, um, clearly I'm not going to edit this video up, I apologise. The emotions, um, I cried after a minute and a half because because it is so short, everything happens in a shorter space of time. So you've watched it for a minute and boom, I'm crying. Great. That's mainly because the dog is a real dog and it's a lot more emotional than the animation Sparky, even though the animation Sparky is beautiful. It is obviously a real bull terrier they're using and he is gorgeous, he is absolutely adorable and the way they work with the costume for the dog I think is sensational, it's just absolutely beautiful. So that is lovely. Um, it's, it's done tastefully, obviously with any animal film and any film that's for, for families they have to be a lot more tasteful and careful than they do with, you know, death and murder and whatever in, in, in 15 plus films or whatever. It's done very tastefully, so even for a younger audience, it's going to upset them, of course it is, but it's not going to traumatise them, and I think that's the beauty of, of any of Tim Burton's film. Tim Burton deals, obviously, with very delicate issues, um, often very harrowing issues, very scary issues, or um, emotional issues, but he always deals with it really tastefully when his films are for children, which is a lot of the time, so that's wonderful. It is powerful, you know. Um, I think one of my favourite lines from one of my favourite poems is Lord Byron, she walks in beauty, so soft, so calm, yet eloquent. And that is exactly what this film is, you're watching it full of love and 
you just want to be really gentle and, and soak up Sparky with as much love and care as possible. But at the same time, it's powerful and energetic and alive and living and sparkling. He's just absolutely fantastic. Um, so you will cry, but I think it's for all the right reasons. And it's done tastefully, so you're not crying thinking, I'm traumatized. You're crying thinking, Tim Burton, I love you entirely. I'm not ever going to say that it's better than the new Frank and Weenie, but that's because the, Frank and, the new Frank and Weenie was the one that I saw first and fell in love with and spent a ridiculous amount of money on merchandise. Can't wait till the DVD's out so I can watch it again and again and again. But to judge this one on its own, I think it's absolutely brilliant. Even if you haven't seen the new Frank and Weenie, go and check it out. It might be online, I'm not sure, but you know, do buy the DVD. It's absolutely brilliant, so it is. Absolutely love it. Cried a lot. But for half an hour, it's absolutely worth it. And I can watch this again and again. Even as background noise, it's beautiful. And as I said, visually it's quite similar to the new one. A lot of the, a lot of the characters that are um, kind of key components in the new Frank and Weenie aren't in this. Or they're not as important in this. But a lot of them are still there. You'll recognise a lot of them. Um, Mr. Whisker is in it. Mr. Whisker is in it, but I don't think he's ever named. Um, Weird Girl is in it. And a couple of others are, but I won't spoil it off completely. Ignore that noise outside if you can hear that. And please feel free to leave comments and let me your thoughts on the original Frank and Weenie or the new Frank and Weenie. And if you have both, which do you prefer? Because I think they're both absolutely wonderful. Let me know your thoughts and I'll see you all next time. Bye.